Hey everyone, James back here on for some more VGC battles from Battle Spot. And right here, we're going to be facing a player named X. I am using a team I use at Regionals, Virginia Regionals, which got me 12th place, which was Charizard, Venusaur, Mammal Swine, and Rotom Wash. In the sidelines were Kangaskhan and Meowstic. Fun fact about my um, team, I never used Mega Kangaskhan in any of my battles during um, Virginia Regionals. It was basically Charizard and Venus Venusaur. So yeah, I really think I could have added two more Pokemon and, and replaced Kangaskhan and Meowstic. So yeah, and we'll be facing against Kangaskhan, Talonflame, Meowstic, and Greninja. You have to know, Talonflame and Greninja are very frail. And don't offer that much offensive pressure. So, it's kind of interesting. Let's begin. And Meowstic and Kangaskhan, a normal duo you usually see in the ja early Japanese metagame. He was from um, Asia, I believe, if I remember correctly. I do lead with the Charizard Venusaur lead, as he leads with Greninja and Meowstic. Double shiny, which is kind of interesting. So right now I'm mega evolving. I don't think he would carry rain dance on this meow stick since his team was not rain based. So I really have no reason to fear it. As he goes for straight for an ice beam, and since prankster didn't activate, it's kind of obvious he went for an attacking move. As I just go for the heat wave just to get some damage off. It is able to KO the Greninja and does so much with that. No, that wasn't a critical hit onto the Meowstic actually, now that I look back. As I go for Sleep Powder, which probably wouldn't have been a smart idea if he went for, let's say, a Safeguard. But I think I just wanted to render that Meowstic useless. As I'm able to heal back with some of my Black Sludge. And anyway, he's gonna send out Talonflame next. And right now, I kind of want Venusaur for later. So I go into my Rotom Wash. As he just goes for a Brave Bird. Which shouldn't do much damage unless it's Choice Bandit. Goes on to the Rotom Wash. Does a lot of damage with that critical hit. But I think that's Choice Band if my damage calculations are right. But it was actually Life Orb. Which is kind of weird. Because I think my Rotom Wash should have taken that better if it was a life orb but heat wave will be able to get some good damage on just that talon flame and now it's basically kangaskhan and talon flame versus the world but you have to try so mega evolution kangaskhan if he gets a fake out he'll be in a better position so he mega evolves but he does not go for um a common fake out he just goes for the brave bird onto my rotom again and Life Orb plus the Recore will be able to take out that Talent Flame. As Charizard's Heat Wave will be able to go. I just wanted to get rid of that Talent Flame to be honest. And he reveals Retaliate. I'm like, what? That is such a cool move animation, by the way. I love that animation. I never seen that before. And I'm kind of glad I did get to see it. As I just went for the Will Whips. Onto the Kangaskhan, because I really wanted some burn damage. And crippling that Kangaskhan would have helped me if I needed to. So yeah, Retaliate Kangaskhan. You never see that before. Kind of interesting. You have to also be surprised that the Greninja wasn't Focus Sash or Life Orb. So yeah, maybe Expert Belt. I hope you like this battle. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time.